Good morning, guys. It is your girl, honey. I'm holding my light because it's literally pitch black in here, but it is 7 a.m. It's actually 6.56 a.m. I just woke up. Bull's actually already gone to work. He left at 3 30 he, he goes to the gym and then he has to go to work for like eight i'm just getting up now gangy decided to sleep in but we're gonna get up and we are gonna be doing our morning routine today with you guys so my pregnant morning routine so guys let's get up and let's get to it shall we the first thing that i have to do right now is take k-i-n-g o-u-t so that's the first thing that we're gonna do. So let's get to it. Kingy, do you need to go outside? Yeah, see, he has to go outside bad right now. Okay, let's go outside. The lights are on. King is going nuts because he wants to get outside. He really has to go to the washroom because when he really has to go, he'll like shake. And that's what he's doing. So we need to get him outside ASAP, okay? So sometimes this is how my morning goes. It's either I take King out right away, or come on, let's go. Okay. Or I have a minute to get myself together, but literally I don't have a minute today because he's gotta go. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. You're going out the door. Another annoying thing is, is that it's so... Okay, come here, we'll wait, come here. Come, Kingy, come. 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 Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Gosh. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> I have to drive to the park every single day because it's been raining so much. So it's all muddy and stuff, so I don't like bringing him for walks around here. We don't even have grass yet. And like, whoever does have grass, it's so far from where we are. So, we have to go to the park every single time he has to go to the washroom. So we drive there, so that he doesn't get super muddy. Well, we are on our way to the park. King's gonna go to the washroom, and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay guys, so we're at the park. King's just gonna do his business and then we're gonna get out of here quickly because it's freaking freezing. King doesn't even have his sweater on. Oh my god, it is freezing out. It's eight degrees. Oh my god. It is freezing. OMG. So King only peed, which is really annoying because he could have peed out front. So he came all the way to the park for basically no reason. Usually I'm just coming to the park so that he can poop because he doesn't like to poop on the stone or the gravel or whatever the fuck it is. So, but he did his business, okay guys? So we are heading back to the house. And I don't know, like, hopefully I have grass by the time this baby comes because I don't know what we're gonna do. King doesn't know either. I gotta give you guys an update on what's been going on with King. Also, yeah, we're heading back home. Be there in two seconds. And also living in a renovation. This is all part of my morning routine. This is right in front of the stairs, so I have to like climb through it. It's getting taken down today, thank God. But all part of the routine, you know? Okay, Kingy. I'm gonna quickly whoo. Let's turn this down a notch. I'm gonna quickly give King his morning breakfast and his medication. Guys, King is now on medication. He's on a heart med. He saw the cardiologist and he's been 
diagnosed with mitral valve disease. So basically his heart isn't pumping the same as a healthy heart would. It's not good news at all. And then he has his collapsed trachea. So those two mixed together is just, it's not looking good for King. I'm trying my hardest just to keep him as comfortable as possible. He sleeps with me every single night. Um, I'm trying to get his coughing episodes down to the very minimum. He's actually on a, a strict diet, so we're trying to help him lose, we're trying to make him lose a couple pounds. So I've been giving him no treats, which is not like me because he has so many treats and I can't even give them to him. And I always give him treats because I just feel so bad for him. Like. I just feel like he's so bored like what does a dog do like just give him treats you know but that is not the correct way so I have him on a very strict diet I'm trying to give him lots of good stuff for his heart um, he eats raw so I prepare his food every single day twice a day guys we're gonna get him at a good place um, this is irreversible so for both conditions it's irreversible the only thing that we can really do is just manage it so that's kind of what we're doing so i usually don't even like have a moment to like brush my teeth because i just need to get him organized and then we'll go upstairs and we'll do what i gotta do so i'm gonna get his food organized and i'll be right back what you see is what you get in the morning from me who i am out of breath from walking upstairs king's already done his food he literally eats it in like 2.5 seconds so yeah, so I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Guys, my electric toothbrush broke the other day. I'm so sad about it. But for now, I'm using this basic biatch. So I ordered a new toothbrush. I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail. Teeth are brushed. This bathroom is attached to the spare bedroom. And I have these Polaroids from mine and Bull's vacation sitting over here on the windowsill. So every morning now, Bull, he will make the bed and he will put three pictures out, three pictures of the day. They're always different. So those are the three for the day. <laughs> he was like, I need to find more Polaroids so I can like switch it up a little bit. <laughs> like, oh my God, he's running, his pile is running low. Um, but guys, we are sleeping in separate, separate, blah, 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 blah. we are sleeping in separate beds. He's sleeping in the spare room still. I'm sleeping in the master room because he has to pee a lot throughout the night. So do I, but I just end up walking to the bathroom. That's like literally like 15 steps away, but he likes to sleep in this room and it all works out because I need to be just in the bed with King and I don't want to disturb both sleep because he has to get up super early. So it's fine. It works out for now. So we are sleeping in separate beds, if you could imagine. It's actually so nice having the bed to yourself. So we're gonna enjoy it while we can because it's not gonna last very long. And our master bedroom bathroom should be done soon. We're just waiting for the plumbing to be done. Our toilet gets delivered today, which is really exciting. So everything will be on site, ready to go. King. King always goes under this bed and it drives me crazy because there's so much dust under there and with his condition, he should not be under the bed. So after I'm done all that, I get dressed and I go downstairs. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I just got changed out of my pajamas and I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for about 30, 45 minutes on incline. I don't like run or anything. I just do a little walk. We get some exercise in before we eat our breakfast so i'll see you when i get downstairs all right guys so i am downstairs i'm on my treadmill doing my walk super dirty right now it's super dirty down here but i start at two and my incline is at 3.5 and throughout my walk i will turn it up a notch so i will check back in all right guys we're still going we got seven minutes well eight minutes to go this is where we're at. I just got a little bit of a cramp, so I had to slow it down a notch. But we're still going. We're gonna finish this. See you guys in a jet. Workout complete. It says workout complete right there. Focus. We are out of the shower, fresh, clean, ready to go, ready to conquer the day. Put a little lotion on our face. Neck, don't forget. So I'm dressed now. I'm just wearing a hoodie and tights. 
Our last kind of morning step would be just to put our lotion on our belly. Lotion up that belly. So I'm using the Spoiled Mama. The Spoiled Mama. So I got the lotion, the body butter, and then also the oil. So first we put on the oil. Get it nice and oiled up. Looking shiny. And then we follow it with the butter. I'm running kind of low. Put the butter on. Don't forget your back, sides, lower abdomen, upper abdomen, all that. All right. So we're all lotioned up twice a day, morning and night. And that should avoid stretch marks. Should. I don't know if it will, but it should. Alrighty. So after that step, I don't really do my makeup or my hair. Maybe just brush my hair, put it up, or leave it down. And then I head downstairs and I have some breakfast. So let's go downstairs. Can't forget a couple squirts of perfume. I'm in the kitchen and for breakfast, usually I will have a bagel. I have a bagel every single day. I am obsessed with having bagels. I found a bakery by our house, so they're fresh every single day. They're so good. Blueberry bagel is my favorite with cream cheese. And I'm really hoping that once the baby comes, I can shake this habit because I can't be eating bagels every day. But for now, it fills me up. It makes me happy, so that's what we're doing. So, and then I'll usually have like a smoothie or a juice. Today I'm gonna have a juice, so I'm gonna get everything prepared and I'll show you guys when I'm done. I have my carrots, pineapple, um, lemon, and carrots, pineapple, lemon, and apple. I'm making a simple juice today. That's all I really got, so. I'm gonna juice this in my juicer. Okay guys, juice is done. So we're just gonna put this in the fridge while I make my bagel. Bagel going in the toaster. Bagel is toasted. We're gonna put our cream cheese on. This is my breakfast. So we have my juice, I have my bagel, and I'm just gonna indulge. That's pretty much my morning routine. Like I, most of the rest of the day, I'm just kind of doing house stuff, cleaning, running errands, all that kind of stuff. And then guys, once the baby comes, I will do a new morning routine. Hopefully Bull will be able to be there with me. Also, I mean, he's pretty much gone in the morning, so. But we're gonna have a whole new routine. So this is just my routine right now, pretty much up until the time I eat. And then after that, it's just, you never know what we're gonna do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and turn on your post notifications and follow us on all our social media platforms. And we will see you in our next video. Peace.